So we have one uh, person left in this block of awards, and that is from the uh, Johnson School of Engineering and Computer Science, Sashu Medavapeti, who holds two graduate degrees from the Johnson School. Um, like most graduates, uh, graduate students, I think, throughout history, uh, Seishu was confined to a cramped office space when he was a grad student, barely big enough for one person, uh, but he obviously got along with his cellmate, since uh, Dinesh, Dinesh Badia is here tonight uh, to celebrate this award with his classmate and fellow alumnus. Seishu's story is going to be a lot of fun to tell because throughout his professional and academic career, he's been remarkably focused on one thing, just one thing that was triggered from his earliest days. It was before his days at UTD. It was before the postdoc that he did after UTD at Paderborn University in Germany. It was before his undergraduate days at the Indian Institute of Technology in Kharagpur. It even preceded his high school days. What could it possibly have been? Seishu, and he's wondering, what could it possibly have been? He doesn't even know. <laughs> Seishu has been driven his whole life to consider new ways of improving wireless communication because of the torment of being a toddler and not being able to move around <laughs> when he was on the phone. Look at that face. Uh, think about it. I mean, how many toddlers do you know that are happy being confined to one space? They're always on the go, right? But when Seishu wanted to call you know, one of his pals on the phone, he always had to stay in one place, and that infuriated him. <laughs> He knew, even at this early age, there had to be a better way. And you know, I thought this would have been a lot funnier, but I'm just not hearing, <laughs> just not hearing a lot of laughter out there, so. Well, we'll move on. Seishu didn't invent cell phones, but his work has helped defi uh, define much of what we've come to take for granted now with mobile devices and wireless communications. Following UTD, he started his career at Nortel, like a lot of our alumni did at that time. Uh, where he was responsible for the company's wireless systems engineering and wireless internet products team. After eight years with Nortel, he decided it was time to be his own boss, and he went to work with two startup companies, including one he founded. In 2000, he established Spatial Wireless, whose products were chosen by AT&T and T-Mobile to build out their 3G networks. And it went so well that four years later, his company was acquired by Alcatel-Lucent. He then joined another emerging communication startup, Cypira Systems, as their president and CEO. And again, a few, few years later, they were acquired, this time by Avaya. In 2008, Seishu joined Texas Instruments, where he took on the role of general manager of their mobile devices business unit and worked with leading global manufacturers, including Samsung, Motorola, BlackBerry, and Nokia. Now, earlier this year, and right around the time uh, that Seishu was selected for this Distinguished Alumni Award uh, for the Johnson School, it, uh, TI announced that they were closing down their mobile devices business unit. And just to be clear, nowhere in any of the press releases or news clippings does it say Sashu Medifapeti was to blame. So <laughs> let's get that out of the way. It's a business decision. Throughout history, we've seen this uh, from TI. They've done this as they strategically focus on new areas, and that's clearly one of the reasons that they continue to be one of the world's leading technology companies. So when I spoke with Seishu in January about accepting this award, he said that he was remaining with TI to help oversee the transition, and he might uh, be in a different position sometime later this year. Well, later this year just came on Monday. For those of you who read the Dallas Morning News ad today, and read the program tonight, you noticed a discrepancy. So the program mentions his TI position, but the ad reflects the new, new position that he just started, and we were able to change it uh, before the ad ran. He's now with Samsung Mobile USA, based right here in Richardson, where he is their senior vice president and chief technology officer. This is also new that I haven't even had the chance to talk to him to find out anything about his responsibilities, so maybe he can share some of that in his remarks. I do know that he'll be no stranger to Samsung, as they were one of TI's biggest customers, and they certainly know what they're getting in hiring him for the senior role in their company. Finally, it's great to see uh, yet another story of an honoree who found their future spouse during their time at UT Dallas, starting to hear that pretty frequently. Seishu met Victoria, who was a math major, and you know what a surprise, a math major and a computer science major getting together at UT Dallas. Seishu and Victoria have uh, three children, all of whom I believe are here tonight, and I jumped ahead too quickly because I was gonna say one of those kids is not real happy because of this picture that they just shared uh, 
to show tonight, so I'm not sure which one it was, but sorry, they gave them to me and I used it. I'd like to ask Dr. Mark Spong, Dean of the Johnson School of Engineering and Computer Science, please bring forward Seshu Madhavapeti so we may honor him with a Distinguished Alumni Award. Thank you, Dean Mark and uh, President Daniel and uh, Aaron, fantastic introduction. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you very much for embarrassing my children. <laughs> <laughs> I think with a PhD in 1991, I might very well be the oldest honorary tonight. I don't think Nyla is going to argue with me on that point. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I'm, um, I got a PhD obviously in 1991 and I've been able to build a career here in uh, mobile communications uh, all this time. I'm probably in the midpoint of my career. And uh, much of it has to do with the fantastic education I got at UTD. And many of the honorees have said that today, and that's very true. Uh, but I think I can trump them all <laughs> in exactly how much I owe this university. Uh, to start with, it was UTD that drew me to Dallas and Richardson, and as Aaron mentioned, I built my entire career, I would say, within a radius of one mile from this hotel. <laughs> <laughs> I went to UTD, did a PhD, started in Nortel. That's probably 0 0.2 miles from here. <laughs> I work at Samsung, which is 0 0.1 miles from here. <laughs> I did two startups. They have to be just south of Campbell Road on Greenville Avenue, so you're talking about one mile. Yeah. And I worked at TI, which is two miles from here. So I'm really a son of the soil of the telecom corridor. And it all started with uh, UTD. But that's just the beginning. And Aaron mentioned that my uh, wife also went to UTD. So I've got that covered. I met my wife at UTD. She has a PhD in um, management uh, from uh, University of Texas at Dallas. Did a math uh, undergrad, and after that moved to uh, uh, management school. And that's not the end of it. Uh, her brother, my brother-in-law, has a PhD in physics from UTD. So I know Margie very well. <laughs> and uh, he met his wife at UTD. She has a PhD in uh, natural sciences. <laughs> my sister went to UTD. She has a master's in computer science. <laughs> my sister-in-law went to UTD. She has a master's in computer science. My sister's daughter went to UTD. She is an undergrad in natural sciences. And the list just goes on, on and on and on, generation, generation after generation. And you know, it's been uh, an enormously fruitful endeavor for me to come all the way from uh, India to go to school here. But the one thing, the one thing that I'm really grateful for, and that's a gift that UTD continues to keep giving, is that as I grow older, it's making me smarter. And that's because I've come to realize that as the institution you got education from grows in reputation, you become smarter. <laughs> it happened to me with IIT. When I went there, you know, it was well known in India, but practically nobody in the US ever heard, heard about it. But then about 10 years ago, you know, some of the graduates from IIT had done well in the US. And 10 years ago, 60 Minutes did a uh, a very nice uh, piece on uh, IIT, and a lot of people had seen it. So ever since then, whenever I meet somebody and say I've gone to IIT, they look at me completely differently. <laughs> <laughs> so, and 10 years on now, I think the reputation of IIT is peaked, and UTD has absolutely taken over the mantle. What uh, President Daniel has done with the school over the last nine years is amazing, and so when I say that I am a graduate of UTD, people think I'm smarter than ever before. <laughs> and what with this Distinguished Alumni Award now, I would say I'm really now ready to face my grandchildren because by the time they come along, 10, 15, 20 years from now, and I tell them I not only went to IIT but also UTD, they'll think I'm a genius. <laughs> so thank you very much for doing a superb job with the university and keep up the good work because 
the harder you work, the smarter I get. <laughs> Thank you. I just want to take a couple of minutes to thank all my colleagues and friends who have come here tonight to see me get this award. I really appreciate it, particularly Kalyan, uh, who gave me my first job at uh, North Hill. And George, I saw you in the crowd as well, so thank you very much for being here uh, to see this. And all my colleagues from TI and the startups I worked at, and also Samsung, who have come to join me here today. Thank you very much for, uh, for uh, sharing this with me. Thank you.